I'm here with uh, Nick Briggs, who is the executive producer of Big Finish and producer on the second series of Sherlock Holmes Audio it's Adventures. It's true. It is true. So what page is this? Uh, page 96. What? Oh, yes, okay. Right. Holmes suggested that I should try to snatch a few hours rest in the chair. It is an unusually large quantity of feldspar and mica crystals. It is very familiar. And is it, is it a bit strange that sometimes, you know, I'm in a scene with you, but then I'm directing you as well? Does that seem impertinent to you? No. <laughs> Do you find this bit really ridiculous? Yeah. yeah. When you've got the scripts together, what's, what's the next stage? Printing them out and giving them to actors, really. And this is the green room. When the actors have finished doing their acting and they come from the studio down there, yes, there it is, giving you a sense of geography, they come along, along here, <laughs> and they go here, open this door here, and come into this very bright room there. Can you? Because there we are. Here's we're doing Ken Bentley. Moaning, actually. He's just, just moaning. And there's Richard. Don't say that. <laughs> and, <then laughs> to... and there's <laughs> Toby. <laughs> and this is Martin Montague, who's doing Hello. the post-production. I'm sitting here with uh, David Stuart Davies, who is the author of The Tangled Skein, uh, which is the play we've been recording today. How's the experience been? It's been fascinating because, as I've, I said in previous chats about the play, um, writing a novel is one thing, but to, to see it converted into a drama... We both stared into the dying embers of the fire for some time before he spoke. Is, is quite fascinating. I think the book itself is really very dramatic in, in essence. <laughs> no, it feels... Uh, it's very good. Um, because I've noticed everybody who works a big finish in the... In there, yes, there's Ken in there. Look, you can you see? Ken? Brains the size of planets. Do we? But uh, really, one of the interesting things about this series is the way we decided to do it for budgetary reasons. We couldn't uh, have as much time in the studio as we would have on the Doctor Who, so we decided to do it in a, a crazy way <laughs> of just piling everyone in rather than having people in the green room all the Each time. Each time when there is a fight and a chase, it's the physicalization of the entire story. Isn't it? Yeah, it, yeah, it, it is. Um, just, you know, having big chats and waiting, piling everyone into the studio and just getting on with it. Instead, I watched as Holmes swept the room with his lens before he sat in the other chair, exhausted. I mean, part of uh, writing it, I was influenced heavily by the Hammer films because I was a great fan of the Hammer films. In fact, if you like, Peter Cushing um, hovered over the project because he played both Holmes and Van Helsing course, in, yes. in the Hammer films. And uh, it, was, it was fun to hear the dialogue you know, come, come to life. Whatever the case, I knew that I had to act in order to prevent him from getting away. I threw myself out into the hallway, followed closely by the others. Too late to make sense of what was happening, and too slow to get out of the way, I took an elbow in the face for my trouble. The intruder, dressed in a black overcoat and clutching a glinting blade, barreled away down the hallway towards the kitchen. Hefting my revolver, I dashed off in pursuit. Because you're right, because Holmes has to be so totally in his own world. And if you're doing that sort of split in your brain thing of kind of listening to other people's performance, and uh, you know, you will neglect your own performance. So luckily, you know, Ken, I trust Ken implicitly, implicitly and he does a fantastic job. So I was able to rely on him. So when I'm being Holmes, I could hopefully, as much as possible, forget about the other people's performances. Curious. What is? There are small fragments of mud on the floor from Dracula's shoes. The earth outside the window is of a different constitution entirely. Now I'm going to need you a naturally close for a close shot. So it's going to naturally close. A naturally close. <laughs> to each other. Oh. Okay. <laughs> sort of married each other's cousins, is it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on. Yes, it's portable <laughs> and everything. Here, look, down the dark corridor. <laughs> and into the control room. There's nothing on the screens at the moment because you join us at the beginning of the day. But normally you have all the sort of WAV files with the recordings on there. And, and these fadey things go up and down. It's incredible. Sometimes they do it on their own. It's amazing. I don't know how they manage that. And this is where Toby sits, isn't it? Yes. He does the recording. Uh, here, there, that's his coat, actually. And this is where um, the director sits. I often sit in this seat myself. And here, actually, is a special pink cushion. 